yes, uh, First Lady Jill Biden is getting blasted for her White House Christmas video. It features tap dancers performing the Nutcracker in the White House. There it is. Joining me right now is the Federalist staff writer and Chicago Thinker co-founder, Evita Duffy Alfonso. Evita, good morning to you. You published a piece this morning titled, Jill Biden's Hunger Games-themed Christmas video is an abomination. Tell us more. Well, I just think that this video and what a lot of people have been observing right on X where, where Jill Biden posted this is that it's more like a Mardi Gras celebration than it is a Christmas video. The, the people are dressed in these sort of biz bizarre costumes that have nothing to do with the season. Uh, and then there's been these really, like, I think, kind of on point comparisons to the Hunger Games, to this dystopian novel that a lot of young people have watched where the, the characters from the Capitol that sort of... Uh, are are subjugating all of the the rest of the country right uh, look very similar to the people in this video so they, there's these hunger games comparisons and then in the backdrop at this like fueling this comparison. You have the Biden administration currently telling the American people that all of the the, the, the price hikes for, for gas, for groceries, uh, are, are just a figment of their imagination, right? The, the White House press secretary is telling us all that it's just in our heads, and the Biden administration has created so many jobs. And then you also have Joe Biden embroiled in the, in the Biden bribery scandal, right? He uh, is alleged to have sold out the American people for millions of dollars to our foreign adversaries, right? So there's there's some really elitist undertones to this. Then, okay, then you also have uh, the fact that there's no nativity scene in sight. They, they've really lost the, the purpose of the season. And then the Marxist tap dancers, right? We actually learned now that the tap dancers in this video are from a New York-based uh, studio that believes America is rooted in colonialism and white supremacy. So everything about this video is just so offensive. Uh, and, and I just think really out of touch with the rest, with the rest of the country. Yeah, I mean, did she do the research on who this group is, uh, given their uh, pushing of defunding the police, among other things? Yeah, I, I think that they did. I, I, I'm sure that it was purposeful, so it was actually, that they chose... Yeah, I'm sure it was intentional that they chose uh, this Marxist tap dancing group to represent us. Which to, I'll just say it's it's actually adds more to the to, to the offensive at all, right? Because this is an administration that just tramples on the Christian values that our country was founded on. Remember when the the White House invited yeah. these LGBTQ activists to the White House? They took their tops off. It was just an egregious oh, uh, thing that occurred. Then, then I mean, then you have right this Biden administration going after traditional Catholics and pro-lifers. Uh, this is a, an administration that tramples on Christian values, uh, and this only adds to that, having the Marxist tap dancers uh, be honored at the White House. Well, they're also getting uh, attacked for their stance on the Israel-Palestinian uh, war as well. And I spoke with the CEO of Truth Social, Devin Nunes, on Sunday Morning Futures on the state of censorship in the media. Here's what he said about that. Watch this. This is the typical thing that we have seen now for, for many decades, but it's gotten really bad over the last 20 years, where you have 95 percent of the fake news is controlled by the left. It's a propaganda right. arm for the Democratic Party. No different mm. than we were talking about earlier, TikTok is to so, China. So the polling, so, the polling so, said, call Trump a dictator, and they just went with it. That, that is exactly right. They said, we need a narrative. And seldom do you see, even when they get 30 or 40 of them out doing and saying them. the same thing, yeah. the American people are not buying it. Adita, this is because all of a sudden, on the same day, all these liberal publications come out with the same story. Trump's policies, if he's reelected, will be a dictator policies. He's a dictator. Uh, because the, I guess they did polling, according to Devin Nunes, and they found out that when you say Trump dictator, it resonates with people. So they all jumping on board, even though what we see from the Biden administration is a lot more uh, about a dictator than what you've seen from Trump. Right, and this is what this is what the the left does all the time, right? They're 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 all in conversation with one one another. That's why we call them the propaganda press. Meanwhile, our alternative media, uh, at like at the Federalist or or, or other publications, right, gets actually uh, de boosted on all of the big tech platforms. We get uh, targeted by by yeah. uh, censorship organizations like NewsGuard that are actually funded by the federal government. That's right, Evita. Good to see you. Thanks very much for weighing in on that, Evita Duffy Alfonso. We'll be right back.